cadets with uh, Concord Composite Squadron Civil Air Patrol. We helped set up and we have a recruiting booth. We've got genres of every kind, vintage planes, um, vintage cars, RC model planes, and basically everything you could imagine for an airport. So we're trying to recruit people, get them to come there. If, you, if you're interested, show up. For Civil Air Patrol you get 10 free flights, 5 powered, and 5 glider. And it's really fun. Like you get to fly for like an hour. It's awesome. I'm, uh, my name is Carol Warren. I'm from Concord, New Hampshire. I'm a sport pilot, a private pilot, and a repairman for the FAA for these craft. Okay, this is a two-seat powered parachute. Uh, it has a 100 horse fuel injected engine and we're flying a 340 elliptical chute which has the ability to lift 2200 pounds. Basically what you're doing is once the chute is in the air, is above your head, it becomes the wing just like a regular aircraft and by going forward with the throttle you take off, pull the throttle back, you descend and if you remember how parachuters jump, they jump and they hold lanyards to steer themselves. We extend those to our feet and we have steering bars. It's not something you would go from here to the seacoast in, but if you want to fly around the area and look at stuff, it, it works perfect for that. Hi, this is a Riley 2.6 1959 that I've had in the family since 1967. My father and I did a complete restoration on it, um, which took over 10 years. And it was done in uh, 1998, and it's been in this condition since. Hi, my name is Joe Kwasnick. I'm actually a resident of Concord, New Hampshire. And I fly a Aerolite 103 right in back of me. It's an ultralight airplane. It uh, flies at about 55 miles an hour. Uh, it's based here in Concord, and if you're lucky enough, it's 7 o'clock in the morning every day, I'm usually up flying over Concord. So if you see a bright yellow airplane, that's me. And um, it takes off in about 300 feet and lands in about 200 feet. And I usually fly at about 1,400 feet above the ground up along the, uh, the Merrimack River. Indeed, this is a boat cleaning station, what we call the CD3, clean, drain, dry, and dispose. The idea is if that we blow out or vacuum out any water or plant material, then we're going to prevent the spread of invasive plants and animals from one lake or one, one river to another. My name is Peter Mello. I'm the president of the Henniker Flying Club. Uh, the Henniker Flying Club is based here in Concord. We own this uh, 172, Cessna 172, and we own the Cessna 182 over there. And uh, we've got uh, se about 17 members in our club. We've been around for about 50 years. The club has been in existence. Uh, this airplane is used a lot for training, so it's a, it's a smaller airplane. It's, uh, it doesn't doesn't have the range that the 182 has. Uh, so we fly this airplane around a lot right around here in the Concord area. Well, uh, well hard to describe the, the, the feeling you get when you're flying. Flying, I just, I love the challenge of it. Um, love the places that you can go, uh, how quick you can get there. This is a 1960 Imperial LeBaron. It was made by the Imperial Motor Company in the, before Chrysler bought them. And it's got a 413 engine, so massive engine with four barrel carburetor. It runs great. I just use it to drive around, drive around in. And uh, it's uh, one of the only cars with a square steering wheel. And so it really looks like a George Jetson's uh, vehicle from the inside. And, Driving down the highway about 70 miles an hour, it just rides like a boat.
My name is Andy Agenio. I'm from Rhode Island. I'm the District Vice President for the Academy of Model Aeronautics. Now what we tend to do is we do advocacy initiatives where we come out and we introduce people to aero modeling and this is one of the many that we're doing this year. We go and show the people a variety of aircraft that we fly, everything from small aircraft that fit in the palm of your hands, that weigh in the gram weights, up to aircraft that weigh up to 125 pounds. Some of the aircraft that we're flying here today are powered by real turbine motors. They're capable of speeds. Uh, we max them out at 200 miles an hour. They're go faster than that, but that's our maximum speed. Uh, we uh, have a variety of aircraft here, not just turbine. We have some guys flying aerobatic planes powered by gas motors, internal combustion motors, and they're doing more of an aerobatic sequence of performances.